Congratulations on purchasing your Majestic Billiard Pool Table. We suggest that you view this DVD in its entirety before commencing installation. There are five stages to this installation. Building the frame, placing the slates and leveling, sealing the slate joints, applying the felt, and finalizing the table with pockets. Installation requires two people at all times. Both the staple gun and blowtorch do require your full attention while in use as to avoid injury. Please ensure all necessary boxes and hardware have been delivered. The longest box contains your frame and hardware. The tallest contains the legs of your table. The flat box is the rails. And the other your accessory kit. You should also have one separate package for your felt. Any other items you may have ordered as accessories would be noted on your invoice. Prior to beginning installation, we would like to review all the tools you will require. Mallet. Hammer. Utility knife. Flathead screwdriver, Phillips or Star screwdriver, stapler remover, measuring tape, putty knife, liquid crazy glue, felt tip marker, air compressor and staple gun, cordless drill. 3M Super 77 Aerosol Spray Glue Bottle Nose Pliers 14mm Socket 12mm Socket 48 Inch Level 24 Inch Level Rubber Leg Shims Beeswax Wood Slate Shims Depending on the type of joint sealing method you choose, you will also need a blowtorch or body filler. Installation Stage 1 Building the Frame Begin by opening the frame box. Gently remove all pieces and lay them in the designated play area. Place the apron side and end panels in their respective positions along with the corresponding frame and corner brackets. Using the two hardware packages with each containing 24 5 16 inch by 7 8 inch bolts and respective washers, hand screw the 8L brackets into place as well as one side of the four black corner brackets. Bringing panels together and using the remainder 5 16 inch by 7 8 inch bolts and washers, attach the other side of the corner bracket to the frame. Once all brackets have been attached, you should now have a rectangular box frame. We are now ready to attach the legs to the frame. Using the 4 3 8 inch by half inch bolt and washer, place the leg under the frame, passing bolt through corner bracket hole and manually secure into place. Repeat on all four legs. To align the table frame, use the four wood corner pieces. While ensuring perfect alignment with the frame, 
hold the corner piece into place. Using a drill, tighten the corner bracket bolts with a 12mm socket. With the four quarter inch by one quarter inch bolts and washers, manually secure the apron corner piece to the frame. Adjust the leg position to align properly with the table frame and wood corner piece. Then drill the leg bolt into place. Using the eight five mm by two inch self drilling bolts, Secure the bottom of the corner bracket to leg. Using the eight, eight by one quarter inch screws, secure the wood corner piece to the corner bracket. Then tighten the quarter inch by one quarter inch middle bolt of corner bracket. We will now place the horizontal and vertical cross beams into the respective L brackets. Insert the eight, three eight inch, by three quarter inch bolts and washers into the side of the cross beams. Using a drill, tighten all L bracket bolts into place. Once completed, fasten the three inch by three and a quarter inch bolts inside of the cross beam. You have now finalized the installation of the frame. Installation Stage 2, Placing Slates and Leveling A 5 foot clearance on all sides of the frame is ideal when playing with standard 57 inch cues. Measure from the furthest part of the frame to your walls and adjust the table accordingly. Once table is in desired position, Place level on the longer side panel and also on the two smaller cross beams. This should give you an accurate reading as to which side of the table will require leveling. A nifty trick for knowing how many shims and which thickness to use is to place the level on the unleveled side and afterwards place shims accordingly until the level is attained. Using the rubber shims provided in your kit, place the shims under the legs requiring leveling. You can now begin to place the slates on the table. Begin with one end and then the middle. When placing the middle slate, align it to the center of the two small cross beams and measure an equal distance on both sides of the frame. Once the middle is aligned, place both end slates snug on either side. When all slates are in position, using a 12mm drill bit, pre-drill through the slate holes. Using the 12 12 mm by 60 mm slate screws, fasten the slates to table. Once all screws are in place, verify the level of your table by placing the level on each slate independently. In this example, our two end slates require shimming. Slightly unscrew the slate screws in the area requiring shims and place a wood shim underneath the slate and between the frame. Hammer the shim into place until level is attained. Tighten the screw back into place and break off excess wood shim. Repeat this for all sides that require leveling. Installation Stage 3 Sealing the Slate Joints Amongst installers, there are two methods for sealing slate joints. Option 1 Wax. This method requires liquid crazy glue, a cloth, beeswax, a putty knife, and a blowtorch. Using the crazy glue, place three drops at equal distances on the slate, one on each end and one drop in the middle. Wipe the excess glue off with the cloth. Using the blowtorch, preheat the slate joint once through. Hold the wax bar at an angle and apply the torch to melt it into the joint. Immediately use the putty knife to scrape off any excess wax. You can now run your finger along the joint to ensure there are no gaps. Repeat the same method on the other joint. Option 2. Putty. This method requires liquid crazy glue, body filler, putty knife, and a cloth. Using the crazy glue, 
place three drops at equal distances on the slate, one on each end and one drop in the middle. Wipe the excess glue off with the cloth. Using the blowtorch, preheat the slate joint once through. Place the body filler and hardener onto the slate and mix thoroughly. If this is not done properly, the putty will not dry properly. Apply the mixture to the joints and scrape off any excess, ensuring no gaps are left. Repeat the same method on the other joint. Allow 2-5 to five minutes to dry. Installation Stage 4 Applying the Felt Before placing the felt on the table, ensure the slate surface is clean. You will have one large bed felt for the place surface and six smaller pieces that will be used for your rails. Spread the bed of the felt on top of the slates with the face sticker pointing upwards. Center the felt as much as possible. You will now require the staple gun and compressor. If you do not have a compressor, you can use a manual stapler. Commencing with one end of the table, staple the felt to the MDF portion of the slate. Always begin with the middle and work from extremities towards the middle again. Move to the opposite end of the table and stretch the felt to its maximum tension. Repeat the same stapling process. Don't be scared to pull the felt until maximum tightness is achieved. Move to the middle slates, working on one side at a time. Begin from the center pocket and stretch the felt towards you and staple to hold it into place. Move to the corner pockets and apply the same technique. Afterwards, film the rest from end pocket to middle. You will now move the pocket stapler. Grasp the cloth firmly above the slate and using the 3M spray glue, spray the slate surface. Wait two to three minutes for the glue to adhere properly as you do not want to apply the felt when the surface is still wet. Using your fist, stretch the felt into pocket opening. With a utility knife, cut two or three triangle slits into the cloth. This makes it easier for folding the felt underneath the slate. Apply pressure to the felt to ensure adherence of the glue and removal of creases. Finish by stapling slits to the MDF frame. Repeat this step for all other pockets. Using the utility knife, cut all excess felt from the edges of the table. The next step is to apply the felt on your rails. Begin with an end rail. There are two of these rails, of which one has the Majestic Billiard logo. Take your utility knife and mark the center of the rail onto the feather strip as well as the unfinished wood area. Remove the feather strip from the groove and place the felt on the rail with the face sticker facing downwards. Center the feather strip to the earlier markings. Using a mallet, carefully and lightly hammer the feather strip into the groove, beginning at the center of the rail and work outwards. Keep a light tension on the felt while hammering as to avoid folds and creases. Once in place, remove the excess felt overlapping the extremity of the feather strip. Use the feather strip as your guide when cutting. Place the pounding block on its side and over the feather strip and use the mallet to pound the feather strip into place. This will ensure the feather strip has been tightly secured in the groove. You can now flip your rail and begin the folding process. Take the edge of the felt near the corner, fold into a triangle and staple it to the top. Repeat on opposite side. Stretch the felt to remove excess creases and folds and begin stapling both corner and finish in center. Cut excess. Repeat the same method on the other end rail. Felting a side rail is slightly different. It requires a three-step folding process. Like the end rail, 
repeat the same initial steps of applying the felt and securing the feather strip. When you are finished, you can visualize the three-step folding process shown here. Insulation Stage 5 – Finalizing Table Once you have finalized the felting on all six rails, take the pliers and pierce the felt on the slate surface where the large bolt holes for the rails are situated. Place the pockets and rails on the felted slate bed with the rail play surface facing down, as shown here. Using the 12 5 16 inch by 7 8 inch pocket bolts, assemble each half set independently. Finalize the assembly of the rails by flipping them over and connecting each half together by joining the middle pockets. Finish by tightening the two remaining middle pocket bolts. Using the 18 3/8 inch by 2 inch rail bolts and respective crown lock washers, manually secure the rails into place through the same holes you cut out of the felt earlier and tighten using a drill. For the final step, screw the leather pocket strips to the MDF under part of the slate using the 24 number 8 5 8 inch screws. You have now finalized your pool table installation and can enjoy with your friends and family the great game of pool. If you have any questions regarding installation, please feel free to contact your Majestic Billiard retailer. <laughs>